Well, the family's out of town for a week, and it's uh, July 4th weekend, so I'm heading up to uh, Erie, PA to do a little fishing for, for uh, two days. Uh, always wanted to see if I could crack the code for carp fishing in Lake Erie. I've always done terrible up there for some reason, so I uh, decided to go to this spot. Never been, uh, never been carp fishing up there, but I believe three, four years back when I was there, I saw some big, big carp swimming around, so gonna do a little carp fishing, a little bit of uh, smallmouth bass fishing, and uh, just enjoy some time, just going by myself, but uh, probably try to get back to hang out with some, some people for July 4th night, but figured what the heck, let's go try to catch some more fish. All right, I'll check back in when I get there. So I'm here in Presque Isle, and I'm deciding to go set up a carp fish with like, I don't know, about 50,000 people up here for July 4th. <laughs> so, probably pretty stupid. I ran into some some carpers up here, um, which was pretty cool. Don't know them, but I think one of them said their name was Bobby. So, that was kind of neat. Said they caught a few fish. So, I'm going to go give it a try. Yep, and keep that rod tip way up. There you go. He's not done yet. He's going to start pulling here in a second. There he goes. Fight, huh? <laughs> What's your name? Jair. Jair? Nice job. They don't like that other rod. They only like this one. That's a big fish. Not a real big carp, but it's a big fish. Yeah, about the same size as the other one. Nice job. That's big. Here, just bring your rod over here for a minute. What did you get? Carp. Oh, carp. Right. Yeah, that's what we're trying to catch. Did he play carp for you? <laughs> I think he was fighting. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well. Way to go, buddy. Nice Way to go. Nice pick. All right, let's see what we got. You scared? You gonna be scared? Scared to hold him, or are you gonna hold him? I'll hold him. You better. Oh yeah, you pull hard. Yeah, they're stronger than you think they are, I tell you. Yeah, especially carp. Okay, if you want to just sit down here, like put your knees down here and I'll get a picture of you. Okay. Just kind of get a hold them, hold them over the mat, that way if he falls, off, falls he doesn't get beat up too bad. Let me throw this net back over there and that way I'm ready to go. So basically, I'd, I'd take this stuff here. Is uh, it's like panko uh, breadcrumbs and uh, orange um, orange jello. Yeah, I gotta get this untangled. And then uh, corn. And these are like European style weights, and you do have to use this. See how that's like super soft? Yeah. They don't feel it when they bite it, so they end up hooking themselves against this weight. So you, that's why I'm just letting them sit there and then they, they end up hooking themselves. But yeah, it's just uh, panko corn and, and orange jello. Yeah, you can eat it if you want to. You get hungry. You get hungry and just eat it. My little boy sometimes tries to eat it. I'm like, kid, you can't touch that. What's that? Yeah. No, I got bait runners. So they, they can't pull in. So they have an automatic, it just goes. But as soon as you reel, this clips over and you're into the drag. Yeah, oh trust me, I've lost many rods. That's all I do is fish. Probably lost about five. Learned my lesson. What are you catching? Just trying to catch carp. But then you just kinda, Good luck. thank you. you. Just kinda put your, your weight like that. And that gives you a whole ball of bait of a chum down there. And then you just take your take your, your few kernels on the hook there, push that in there and just kind of compress it one more time and throw it in. That's it. And then hopefully you catch something. <laughs> it's all fine and dandy if you, unless you don't catch any. They're 
only biting this one, so I think I'm gonna move that rod. I think that, I think I keep throwing that in the weeds. Oh my goodness. Let me get a quick picture and get it back quick. That sucks. I want this so bad for my palm, but I, I can't take it. I'll never, it'll never live. Where'd you stay? I want to get it, take it to, for my palm, but it'll never live. Much better one on here, I think. Good one this time. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a carp. That's what I'm trying to catch. I think this, but he's in a bunch of weeds, so I can't really tell. No, I got it. Yeah, I'm used to doing it. He's maybe 12 pounds. They stop fighting when they get that weed in their eye because it, it calms them down. Yeah, he's, he's 10. It, 10 or 12 somewhere around there yeah it's a fish yeah I'll call him 12 pounds that's my guess That didn't take long. Oh, I'm missing another one. Where's your boy at? Down here. Here, hurry up. Get down here. Hurry up. Put your hand all the way in front of the reel. There you go, right there. Don't reel unless he's not fighting. He's not fighting, don't reel. Get real close so he doesn't hit the wall. Yep, step right in front of the net there. Go ahead. Step out there. There you go. Watch yourself when we get the net. All right. Okay, reel now. Yeah, unless when that rod's real, when it's real bent and he's running, don't reel. Give me one second. Okay. Thing's still running yeah it sure is okay hold on <laughs> that's not making him happy okay just stop for a second just keep that rod tip high you're doing great okay now try to pull him in 
He didn't like that net. Okay, hold on one second. He's all right. He's not doing anything wrong. The drag's a little bit too loose. Stop a second. Okay, go ahead. Just keep going. He'll come in. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's getting there. Oh, oh. He's just... He just isn't happy you're about doing, us. You're doing, what? you're doing fine. Bro. Yeah, you're doing fine. You don't have to hurry. Don't panic. Don't panic. Doing good. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. He's the fighting is the fun he's part. Now. Yeah. That's he saw. Than that trout, ain't it? They don't like that net. <laughs> I didn't think he was done yet. I was just hoping to get him in the net anyway. Oh, you lost him, didn't you? No, no keep reeling. Reel, reel, reel. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. You got to keep that rod tip bent. If it ain't keep bent, bent, you're gonna lose him. Keep it bent. Keep reeling. Stop one like second. Okay, go. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling, Blake, keep, keep reeling. Come on. There you go, you're getting him. You got it. You got it. He's coming, <laughs> here. He's coming close over here. Keep reeling, keep reeling. That's what they always do. Keep, put that rod tip way up. There you go. Good job, Blake. I'm gonna say he's around eight, nine pounds. Woo! Oh, my arm. Oh, he has to hold it. He has to Otherwise, you ain't allowed, allowed to reel him in. You can't. He'll calm down in a second. That's why I'm trying to keep him on the mat. That's a carp. All the way under. You gotta go all the way under his belly. I can't get him. You can do it. He's too heavy. There you go. There you go. Got him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you have one? Yeah. Oh. Did he fall off? No, he just did a big flip. I don't think he's any bigger. He just ran fast. Definitely dumping off a lot of line. Oh, man. Really? Angry? Yeah. <laughs> it's can't tell because it's in the weeds. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I got to pull it in first. <laughs> How far out is he? It went. It went a long ways in the first run. He's right here. See him? Oh, there, he is. there he is. Man, he's a biggie. Uh, it's. Oh yeah, oh. it's bigger. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. That's probably 15 to 20. Bigger than mine, probably. That's the biggest one I've got yet out here. Not huge, but it's nice size. I'm gonna say 15. Yeah, it's good. Your fish? I just weigh him. That's a good one. That's better. It's more like it. Yeah. Probably gonna need the net. Yeah, gotta get him in first. Get him wore out first. Man, he was really tense. All right, that's better. He's around 15 to 17, I'll say. Yeah, about 15 pounds. A wrap up at EPA. Caught all kinds of stuff. I'll have some pictures later of all the panfish I got, but beautiful place. Really enjoyed it. I'll be back. I'll have to come a little earlier in the year and see if I can find some really big carp, but we out.